In this video, I wanna show you how to reveal a text, title, or logo from nothing within Premiere Pro. If that's what you came to learn, let's dive right into it. So to get a title that appears from nothing like this, go up to your type tool, click on the program monitor, and type in your title. What I like to do is use the graphics workspace. So if you go up to window, workspaces, graphics, you'll have a similar workspace to mine here on screen. In the essential graphics panel underneath edit, we can go to align and transform. And with the title highlighted, I can align it to the vertical and horizontal center. Next, we want to go to window, effects. And in my effects window, I'm going to look up the transform effect. I'm gonna click and drag this onto my title and that will appear in your effects controls right here. If you look at the transform effect, you'll find that it's very similar to the motion effect here in the video. But just so we don't get confused with the position up here with the vector motion or down here with our video motion, or if you had your title open, you could be using the transform within that. We don't want to affect any of those. So I'm going to, I guess, de-waterfall any of those and make sure that we're only dealing with the transform effect. From this point, I want to animate it from the bottom up. So this first number is the X axis and the second number is the Y axis. It's a little bit easier to work backwards when keyframing animations because you know where the, you want the title to end up, but you may not know where you want it to start. What we wanna do is move the playhead further down the timeline and I'm gonna to go to my position and toggle animation or create a keyframe. That's this little stopwatch right here. Click that. Then I'm gonna move my playhead to the beginning of the clip and this is where we want the title to move from. Since I wanna animate it from the bottom, I'm going to move my second number here in the position down. So now if I hit play, it goes from the bottom to our previous position. Since we knew where we wanted it to end up, that's why we added the keyframe for this placement first, then went here and added that keyframe. Hopefully that makes sense. To make the title appear from nothing, we need to add another effect, and that effect is crop. So back in our effects window, I'm going to type in crop in the search menu and drag crop onto our title clip. Now, one way that you could crop your title is to click and drag the handles for each different number. But I think one of the easiest ways to do this is just click the word crop in your effects controls, and that will allow you to just click these handles here and move the crop to wherever you want to crop your title. If I hit play, the title appears. And it looks like I need to change my crop just a little bit. So the next thing we need to do is kind of spice up the movement of the title. And in order to do that, we need to go back to our position within the transform effect. And I'm going to click this down arrow on position. And I'm going to right click on my first keyframe, go to temporal interpolation, ease out, and right click on the second keyframe, temporal interpolation, ease in. So now we get something that looks like this. See how it kind of eases into place. Now, one thing to make this even cooler is to manipulate these little handles underneath the position. So watch what happens if I were to click and drag this. We're changing the velocity of the title. So now it kind of eases into place a little bit more over time. That's kind of cool. Now, the kind of animation that you saw in the beginning of the video, I actually took this handle and moved it here. So it starts out slow, gets really fast, and then slows back down. So watch this. Zoop. Zoop. One more way that you could do something like this is take your end handle and kind of go like this. Zoop. However you want to do it, it's up to you and your creative preference. I like this one where it kind of pulls the handle towards the first keyframe and eases into place, or I've kind of been a fan recently of pulling both of those uh, handles into the middle to the extreme. So it starts out slow, gets extremely fast for a brief moment, and then eases into place like, like that. The last thing we'd want to do with this title is to change the shutter angle so we can add some motion blur. If I go to the extreme of 360, Notice that it's a lot of motion blur. So maybe that's something that you want. I like to stick around 180 with my shutter angle and then you can always toy around with moving your second keyframe to shorten or lengthen how long it takes for that animation. If you wanted to animate the title out, you could reverse the clip. Another way that you could do is highlight your keyframes. So I'm gonna highlight the second keyframe, hit Command C on Mac or Control C on Windows 
hit Command V and paste it right there. Then highlight my first keyframe, hit Command C or Control C on Windows, and then paste this by hitting Command V. And notice that the curve's a little different. So what you can do is just play around with the curve and make it animate out however you want to. Now remember, we're just animating this title from the bottom. If you wanted to switch where the title comes from, all you need to do is go back to this first keyframe and let's say we wanted it to come from the top. So zoom. now we can have it come from the top. If we wanted it to come from the corner, you could do that zoom, like that and then down to the bottom. Another thing to point out here is for some people, if you accidentally move the crop layer below your text and transform layer, you'll notice that it won't crop the title. It's as if the crop layer isn't working. What you need to do is make sure that the crop effect is above the transform and text effect. The reason why I bring up where crop appears here in your effects controls window is because it will change depending on whether you're using a text or a object such as a logo. So notice right here with the title effect, if I hit play, the title appears and then goes away because the crop effect is above my transform and text layer. Now, if I were to do this with the Premiere Pro logo, my crop is above my transform layer. Look what happens. It doesn't crop anything. What we need to do is move crop below the transform layer for something like a logo. So now it's cropping. Just something to be aware of. If for some reason your crop isn't working, that means that you need to move it to a different spot here underneath or above the transform effect and your text effect. And just as a side note, for those of you that wanna save time and don't wanna to have to put in all of these different keyframes every single time you animate a title in, I actually made my own smooth movement animation preset pack that is available in the description below and it is super easy to use. So right here with this title, all I need to do if I wanted to animate it in from the bottom, I could drag this smooth in from bottom right there and automatically it animates in from the bottom. And let's say I wanted it to go out to the right. So I would do smooth out to right. So I'll drag that on and go back over here and you can see that it goes smooth out to right. And the same thing applies here. If you wanted to do that same crop effect, we could still bring that on and this is how it would look. And just to show you that the preset pack also works with a logo or it could work with video as well. Right here we have the Premiere Pro icon. Now this isn't the height and width of my sequence. So I'm just gonna nest it really quick and we'll just do the same thing of smooth in from the bottom, smooth out to the right and watch. And it will go out to the right. Just something to consider if you like my tutorials and you wanna support me as a creator, I've gotten a lot of great feedback on this preset pack and I know it will save you time. Until next time, I hope you're out there living a life of abundance.